What's up, YouTube fam? All right, so uh, currently, this is the first video of the day. I have not had my camera all morning. Uh, it's currently 10 till 2 o'clock on Wednesday afternoon. Um, so here's what's up. So I hadn't really picked up my camera. It's been kind of a boring morning. Uh, I woke up. I was almost late for work. Uh, I had to go to Walmart this morning and exchange something, and then uh, then I then I went to work. And so what I've been doing, I've been in White Oak all day today, um, and I've been dealing with the unsigned document situation, uh, trying to get people's memberships where like we have a barcode for our 24-hour access cards, and basically if people haven't signed their terms and conditions documents and membership agreement documents to the gym they were locked out of the gym so their card won't work so i've been going in making phone calls and taking care of people that have signed their documents and changing their card numbers back to the card number that is their card it's a long story so anyhow that's what i've been doing all morning so it really hasn't been a morning to have a camera on me and um just left uh kfc taco bell came and ate with my pops uh for lunch and um yeah with that without further ado uh with that being said this is gonna start today's vlog sorry it's so late but we still got a full day ahead of us all right play that intro let's go this time we will win this time we'll have to join forces So, I've edited the last video before this video, before this vlog, I've edited it three times. And finally, the third time is the charm, fingers crossed, it's sitting here, it's loading, saving, hopefully it saves. This is where, actually before this step, last night at 2 o'clock in the morning, was where it jacked up. So fingers crossed and we have fixed the vlogging editing saving situation so <sighs> sigh of relief almost we're at three percent so hopefully it works but anyways um it's currently 256 and i'm at white oak at the gym here boom the white oak gym here we are And I'm about to go to Kilgore. I gotta be there by four. So hopefully this will be done and then we can shut it and then go over there, compress the file, upload to YouTube. <sighs> the perks of being a YouTuber. <laughs> uh, but yeah, wouldn't change it for the world. It's for you guys and girls and everybody out there that watches my videos. Thank you guys, y'all are awesome. All right, you guys. So I'm about to leave the gym here in White Oak and head to Kilgore. But in order to do that, why take a vehicle when you can just go like this? <laughs> it worked. <laughs> so awesome, so awesome. I gotta start doing this like morphing thing like more often. Anyways, we're here at Kilgore. I'm about to go inside and see what's cracking. Uh, dang, I was, this blows my mind. Like I gotta, man, I gotta do this stuff more often. Anyways, see you guys here in a minute. So one thing about the Kilgore gym in the evenings, especially with this time change, is this sun that's beaming in from right there. Oh my gosh. So like I have to move like, so basically I have to move this little thing right here over while I'm sitting at the desk. And if I'm on my laptop right here, which normally I'm on my laptop in the office back over there, but you can't really see out of that office, so right here, you can see, got files like taken care of. Oh, and the video like uploaded. It's about to upload to YouTube, so we're good to go. We're good to go. We're back on track with vlogging. Super stoked about that. And I'm still freaking stoked about the fact that I could morph. Like, I feel like a mighty morphing Power Ranger minus the power ranger um I, I, I. 
So, guess what? For one, I'm leaving the gym. For two, I'm just not feeling a workout. I don't think it's in the books today. And, uh, I'm gonna take the rest of the evening off. I'm gonna go grab something to eat. Probably go to Bubba's, uh, which is a burger slash pizza place in Longview. Grab something to eat there. And, uh, I don't know. Uh, just kind of feeling like, uh, so, uh, might go out for a little bit, do something, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But uh, heading back into town, not going to hit a workout. But uh, that being said, heading out, and we'll see you guys on the next clip. All right, you guys, so I'm back home, and I was on my way home, and me and Chris have been in, like, this debacle. So I don't even know what – my hair almost matches the wall. That's weird. Anyhow, um, so before I go upstairs, I'm going to tell you what's going on, all right? So – let me get on my phone. Okay, so Chris, my roommate, is the GM at Saltgrass, all right? So basically, Chris is like, bro, bring us, or bring us some food home with a smiley face. Nick, come on, man. He said, he's basically, has, okay, so here, here's the rundown. He has these gift cards for, because he's the Saltgrass at, uh, the GM at Saltgrass, and the Bubba's and them switched out food so he has gift cards for that food like what are you doing he said sitting in my room working on my schedule so we go back and forth back and forth back and forth and uh I said dude it's not cool that you're a GM you work 12 to 15 hours and somebody else you need to delegate some work to them so basically here's what's up he asked me what I was doing I said I'm counting my unborn children and uh he was like okay he said, bring me some effing food. I said, nigga. He said, we're bros, bro. You do for me, I do for you. We're here for each other. Help me out, nigga. Plus, I'm getting pretty effed up right now drinking. I said, you sound like, I said, you sound like a, you sound like it because you're crying like a little girl. He said, I'm hungry like an effing man. Laugh out loud. I said, well, if your ass was that hungry, You'd put down that work for a minute and meet your boy at Bubba's. So he has no no idea that I'm home. And I'm sorry, I just went on that rant and read, read all of our text messages. And you guys haven't even met Chris yet. So uh, Chris is my buddy. And actually this weekend, we're going to Dallas for him and his girlfriend's birthday get together at Top Golf. So I'll tell you more about that here in a little while. But I actually put a status on uh, Snapchat about how I needed a date. And I was just joking and all this. So I'll read that to you in a little while. But we're about to go upstairs and uh, see what Chris is doing. He has no idea I have the camera, so let's get it. What's up, Dick with ears? Uh, over here, look at this guy. Just over here. What Chris, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. What's up, bro? What's up, what's up? Chilling, he's just over here, you know, doing work and watching uh what is this? Watching Jungle Book. Jungle Book. What are you ten? Does that does that blonde hair make you ten? <laughs> that blonde hair's off the chain, bro. It is. You don't even know. It is. Yeah man, so yeah, and this is Chris and his girl. Absolutely. That's blurry, dude. No oh, one boy, so blurry, man. No one. Y'all see her this weekend. Anyhow, so what are you doing, man? Just I'm uh, doing some work, watching the Jungle Book, and I need you to make me a drink. <laughs> I'm not making you a drink. I'm not getting you food. I'm not making you a drink. You can take a break. Yeah, you got to. All right, so I had to come get the camera again because this guy is lazy, and so I walked in his closet. This is this is Chris's room, by the way. Badass. Huge. Show my guns. My guns oh, he's got guns. He's got guns too. <laughs> Don't break in. Anyhow, then you got the bathroom. Just two two sinks. And then you got over here toilet for the man business. Big bathtub. Really, it's not even that big. It's the same size as my bathtub, but whatever. Oh. But that's not why I grabbed the camera. Oh shit, uh. dude. That's not why my legs are no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not why I gotta grab the camera. So I walk in Chris's closet 
and I haven't seen one of these since probably Vietnam. This guy has a duster. A, like a legit, like a dead gum. It, that, hold on. Oh, like a rhinestone cowboy. Look at this, what in the country nickname? Supposed to be wrecking you, boy, not like a like rhinestone it. cowboy. That looks pretty badass. Yeah, whatever, dude. What, what is, is this? Cool? I don't know, man. <laughs> All that goes around your back. <laughs> he drunk? <That's>, no. <laughs> he deserves a drink. He works 32 hours a day. And there's only 24 in a day. How? It's just weird. It's just weird. So yeah, so this is Chris's closet. Just going Are you through. Oh! Oh, he has a motorcycle too. And I've never been on a motorcycle. You guys comment below if you want to see me ride on a motorcycle. That'd be <laughs> freaking hilarious. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. So, here's the thing. So this weekend, Chris's birthday is? December 3rd. December 3rd. Saturday. Sunday, actually. So Sunday. Saturday. His girlfriend's birthday is December? Tomorrow. Is, to, is, is November tomorrow? The 30th. The 30th. So, with that being said, they kind of, uh, they they've been dating and everything like that but so she lives in dallas and she works at dallas children's hospital dallas children's hospital so she works there so she lives in dallas so they kind of just like go back and forth and see each other and whatnot but they're put together a birthday party because a lot of chris's family is in the dallas mckinney area and so they put together this birthday party put it on facebook so we're going to celebrate chris's and christina's birthday on saturday at top golf and here's the thing jacob doesn't have a date so jacob chris doesn't even know about this all right so actually go to my snapchat <laughs> i'm gonna let him read it snapchat. and then and then i'll sh and then i'll show you guys it, load, it should load so then i'll show you guys like what it says it's pretty funny it's loading oh my god your stuff is so slow <laughs> it's long view for you he he he's blaming it on long view you guys all right, so here's my Snapchat. So it says, you can't even read it, but I'll read it. So there's a picture of Top Golf, and it says B Day shenanigans going down this Saturday at Top Golf in the Colony, Texas. Whom will be my date? With an emoji going like this, and then an emoji going like this, then two golf emojis, a guy and a girl. All right, so that's one. That's the first one. Then second one says serious inquiries only. <laughs> <laughs> so then, after that, must think of <laughs> says credentials for being select. Oh dang it! I didn't save that. I got to join. Must think I'm kind of sort of handsome, hot, <laughs> and cute because it's a must that you're gorgeous. <laughs> must be five seven or shorter. Any hair color will be fine. Nothing too crazy. <laughs> Doesn't have to like golf, but down to have a bomb ass time. One more thing. <laughs> I will be staying in a hotel in Dallas. If you like to stay, I'll have a floor for you. Totally joking. <laughs> I have a couch. I have a couch. Wait, one last thing. Must be a female. Sorry, no dudes. <laughs> Gotta go watch the Jungle Book while this guy drinks his drink and jungle makes his book. makes his schedule. Like a two-year-old on a playground. Or a man who has a job to do. That makes more sense. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I never did this. That sucks. Oh, you get paid, so that's good. Not at midnight tonight. Oh, we get paid Friday. Thursday at midnight. I wish it was tonight. You got low data. Or whatever's going on. Why is this so. doing this? Probably what it is. I'll back out and go back into it and not load. It's almost there, man. Is it? What's it say? It's 97, 98, oh. 99. Uh, I, don't know how you, I don't see how you can focus on that while that's loud. I ain't complaining about it. I'm just saying. Making fun of him. It's making fun of him. 
told y'all he would go to Bubba's. I told you. He's going. <laughs> but he's already finished this. It was halfway full. Halfway. But anyhow, we're about to go to Bubba's, and I'm going to eat. He's going to eat. We're hungry, so let's go eat. Necessities of life. What did you say? You're drunk. Did you ever say you're drunk? Did you look at it? Well, you got a puffy jacket on. Fuck you, the horse you rode in on, Bubba. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like it, dude. Don't post that. I'll post what I want to post. Look at this get up. Them horn? shoes are clean. Those joggers are clean. The shirt's clean. And that jacket is pretty freaking clean. Not gonna lie about it. All right, let's go. Hey, we at Bubba's, though. About to go in here and eat. That's what we're about to do. And FYI, not taking the camera in. FYI, Chris drove. He's dangerous. Man. Living life on the edge. Heard. Heard. He's taking his work in with him. Yeah. What do I do? I think it's pizza time. Pizza. Or burger. Deal. And then there was light. Well, oh, here's John, by the way, Chris's brother. Anyhow, so we went to Bubba's. I had a uh, bacon burger, and I had two Michelob Ultras. But, this, th not this punk, not this punk, but the other punk is going to bed. He's like, I'd be at work at 2 o'clock in the morning. Two let's, let's, go, let's go mess with him. Hey, man. We got to go get Jeff. Go get him. Come on, man. We, I need your help. Hey, well, I need your truck. You don't need a truck to transfer gas. What if what if we gotta pull him? Cause we're all broke. We're we're all broke, so we gotta we gotta we gotta compromise. No, I'm going to bed. <laughs> what a what a friend Chris is. Leaving 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 little Jeff stranded on the side of the road. Damn. <laughs> He believes in me. That's, believe in he believes in me. That's what just happened. All right. Well, I'm about to go to bed. I'm not. I'm not going to bed. I don't know what I'm doing. That'll work. That'll work. Well, let me know. Let me know. You know let me know uh, whenever you know when David gets there and y'all get everything taken care of. Okay. All right, man. All right. All right, bro. So that was my buddy. He stranded on the side of the road without gas, so he called me. I was going to go pick him up, well not pick him up, go get gas, whatever, but anyhow, uh, I was on Facebook Sunday, and we're about to get serious, uh, a friend of mine that I've known for years, um, we actually worked at Genghis Grill together um, back in the day, this was probably like eight years ago, uh, she dated one of my friends that worked at the haunted house for a while, um, her name's Jordan, and Jordan, shout out. And uh, That's if she's her little her her little sister Bailey, um, just passed away last Sunday, and um, she lived in Austin. She's from White Oak, and uh, so I just want to say, Jordan, I'm sorry. The Moulton family, I'm sorry for your loss. And Bailey was so awesome, uh, just a free spirit. Like she was cool as crap, man. And uh, early twenties, and so I uh, saw Jordan tonight. Jordan told me that they're uh, the the viewing is going to be tomorrow, and then they're going to have a memorial for Bailey on Friday. So I will be going to both of those, um, just paying my respects and uh, you know to the friends and the family and everything like that. So, anyways, I don't I don't, don't do I don't deal with the whole like I don't deal with all of that, you know. And uh, anyhow, but it's it's tough to lose lose a loved one. So um, my my heart's with you guys. My prayers are with you guys the Moulton family and all friends and everything so my heart is with you guys but anyways you guys I'm about to uh, put the camera down this is a long clip because I was messing with Chris earlier but uh, I'm about to put the camera down uh, they're all actually out having some drinks tonight I might go hang out with them and kick it with them for a little bit and uh, just kind of chill and I know they don't want to they don't want the camera in their face so I'm just gonna pay respect to that and uh, just hang out kick it with them and uh, I'll pick it back up, and I'll see you guys in the morning. So, good night for right now. See ya! He said peace out. <laughs>
All right, you guys, so before I go out and kick it with the friends, I want to show you guys the outfit. So it's something a little bit different than like what I've been wearing uh, with the skinny jeans, and I, I just like to change the style up. So we're actually going to a, uh, it's like a country kind of club, bar, slash place, and uh, kind of want to dress the part. So I got the, uh, this is actually Chris's shirt. I just stole it from him. I wish I had got that on camera because he was in bed trying to go to sleep, and I was like, bro, wake up, wake up. So I was like, hey man, let me borrow your shirt. So this is it. Got a plaid shirt. We got the jeans on. And then we got the boots. We're in Texas. Gotta wear boots. And I didn't really fix the hair. I just threw some hairspray in it. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna hang out with some friends uh, for, you know, to hang out with Jordan and, which is Bailey's sister. And just kick it, man. You know, just hang out with everybody. Uh, it's something different. I haven't hung out with them in a long time, so something fun. But anyways, that's what we're going to do, and we'll see you guys in the morning. All right? Have a good night. Have a good morning. Whatever you're going to do when you're watching this, we'll see you guys. <laughs> we'll see. What's up, YouTube fam, and welcome to day two of the vlog. So, uh, it is currently, I'm in Kilgore, by the way. Uh, woke up this morning, had to be at work at 10, uh, didn't really want to get out of bed, uh, after going out last night for a little bit with some friends, but got up, hurried, got ready, um, got here at 10, um, here's what happened this morning, and I think I'm going to close this vlog out with this clip right here, so, and then we're going to start a new vlog for the day, uh, today, so kind of something different. Uh, but here's what happened you guys and I'm just gonna kind of go on a rant and I need you guys just to listen to me real quick um, So this morning uh, I was on my way to work. Um, I had Money in I have money in my savings account. Okay, my savings account is with another bank my business account Didn't have much money in it. Uh, I want to say it had like 20 bucks in my account Um I get a direct deposit for work, yada yada yada. So anyhow, so I don't keep a lot of money in in the in the in the business account until it's time to keep a lot of money in the business account, or if I got a transaction I got to pay for or whatever. So um, I had the money in the savings account, so I'm not worried about that. But this is what really pisses me off. So during October, I uh, ran a Facebook ad for the haunted house, and I had a seventy-five dollar budget. Uh, so I ran the ad from October 23rd until November 5th because we ran the weekend of the first weekend of November. So I ran the ad for that. Well, um, I was charged $26 and like some change on November 5th, I want to say it was. Charged that, okay? So cool. Get it. You know, my budget was $75. I paid $26 for how many ever clicks or whatever. So my ad ended on the 5th. Well, I was on my way to work this morning and I get a notification on my phone from my bank saying you're basically negative $8.67 in your account. And I'm like, what the hell? So I go on my bank and I was like, well, I thought it was GoDaddy. I thought it was my GoDaddy account for the Recreate Royalty website. And uh, it wasn't. So ended up uh it was for a facebook ad and so uh so ended up i checked looked in the account i'm like what the hell's going on i was on the phone with my bank from probably about 10 o'clock until about 30 minutes ago and it's now 12 15 uh asking to dispute the charge i didn't authorize them and it's the 30th of the month like why are they taking money out of my account the other thing that really pisses me off is you can't get a hold of Facebook. Like, there's no way to get a hold of Facebook. They have a phone number, they have no phone support. It sucks. So, my experience with Facebook and the ads when the ad's running, it runs great. You get a lot of impressions, you get a lot of clicks, you get a lot of views. So, that's great. Like, it works out. But I feel like the way Facebook needs to, like, do their ad, they need to take out X amount of dollars that you put into your. For your for your deal they need to take that out immediately so say your budget's 75 dollars like mine was 
they take that $75 out, boom, as soon as you put it in there. Well, then your ad runs, and it runs, and it runs, and you're seeing how far it runs, and how good it does, and the clicks, and yada, yada, yada. Then, after that, after your ad is finished, if you only spent $30 on your ad from all the clicks, they automatically took out 75 okay? So they give you the difference back. So would that be 45 Yeah. Yeah, I had to use my fingers. So they'd give you four, they would deposit $45 back into your account because they didn't use that money. That's the way Facebook should use their crap. That's how I feel. Sorry, business tangent rant. Just pissed. But this is going to end this vlog, you guys. I know it was a little. Hope you guys enjoy. Sorry about the rant. Just Facebook has me pissed. Uh, but my roommate owed me 60 bucks, so he deposited that money in my account. So we're back on the good side. I get a deposit in my account for work tonight, so I'm good. I'm not worried about it. I got money in the savings. It's it's a good day, you guys. So. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you hadn't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I know this is a little bit different of a vlog than normal. Didn't really have any edits or workouts or anything like that. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to get on with the day. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!